this episode of It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine was made possible by contributions from slaves like you. Thank you very much. Pues acabar primero con el sistema capitalista. De repente nosotros vemos que lo que acá se entiende es que luchemos por por capitalismo verde. First of all, we have to end capitalism. We see that what they are pushing for here is green capitalism, even if they deny it. But in all the forums we have attended, they have said that we can live in the system if the system offers us concessions. We don't want that. Any struggle for radical change has to come from the end of capitalism as a social economic system that manages all of our relationships, including personal ones. Como estructura social económica que media en las relaciones incluso personales. It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, ladies and welcome to another edition of It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine, where Bruce Lee is not a dubbed. Kung Fu movie. Box cutter. Oh shit. See, see, look, y'all ain't fuck up that fake shit. Oh my god. Check this out, man. Two picks, man. Oh shit, y'all ain't listen. Oh, this nigga, you getting serious now, man? Right? I wasn't even you getting serious, man. Yeah. What you all serious for? I just was chilling, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me go. Yo, we out. I'm your host, the Stimulator. But before I give you the skinny on the Cop 16 actions. Let's start with our pals in Greece. As expected, on the anniversary of the cowardly murder of Alex Grigoropoulos by a piece of shit pig, the motherfucking resistance battled the Greek fuzz with an unrelentless barrage of Molotov cocktails to create a spectacular visual extravaganza in honor of our fallen comrade. Violations are wrong by fucking corporations, so with no hesitation, I take the mic, the logic rocks it, yeah, you know what it's like, it's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Another riot in Greece? I'm going to miss my pedicure appointment. Last Monday in Cancun, the anti-cop bloc rocked out their first action. A contingent from Athens hung a banner to remember the memory of Alex. A time of extremism, a time of revolution, a time when there's got to be a change. People in power... But the goal of this action was to deliver a gift to the Profepa. A Mexican government agency that approves projects such as mines so that greedy motherfuckers can get richer while raping the earth. The graphic block redecorated the walls and glass windows of the city and of transnational corporate chains by wheat pasting posters and spray painting messages. Change this miserable condition that exists on this earth. Thank you. Yo, fuck the governments, and fuck the politicians, fuck the television, and fuck the system. Fuck the corporate bitches, they snitches for real. Once the anti-cop got close to the Profepa, a humongous pigsty was waiting to welcome us into the area. The motherfucking resistance reminded them of November 2nd, 2006 in Oaxaca, when peeps beat back the pigs and the army. Since the pigs didn't have any good manners to let the anarchists deliver their present, the anti-cop decided to let the pigs enjoy their favorite meal. The gift consisted of shitty donations graciously deposited by many comrades to let the Profepa know that we are sick of being shot upon by government hacks. On Tuesday, thousands of peeps from around the world joined Latin American freedom fighters to demand that the motherfuckers up top change their destructive politics or face the consequences when the people start to revolt. The mobilization is one of the most festive and diverse I've ever seen, and the vibe was fucking dope. Thousands danced to the beat of many styles of music, but we all knew that the killer scene was in the back of the march. 
The Boost Lee shut out revolutionary rhythms out of its massive cannons, invoking the insurgent energy of Mexican anarchist Flores Magón. The goal of the march was to get the gangs to spot where the douchebags were deciding the fate of humanity. But the march organizers blocked the motherfucking road about one kilometer from the massive fence the Mexi pigs had erected. Yep, sometimes our own peeps are our biggest obstacle to the inevitable confrontation with the forces of oppression. When the march stopped, we heard speech after speech after motherfucking speech. And finally, peeps passed the fuck out. I was so fucking depressed I was gearing up to buy 40 beers and get trashed in the most embarrassing way. When all of a sudden, a ginormous silver hammer, wielded by the motherfucking resistance, smashed the spell of invincibility of the state and gave those who made it to Cancun something a little more interesting to take home with them. We came here to say that we are a force of unity, that we are a huge motherfucking gang of peeps, and that we are ready to create the world that we want to see. We didn't come here to beg the governments of COP16 to stay united in this corrupt and decaying process, with mechanisms that don't work to resolve the problem of global climate change. We came here to say that we are ready to inhabit another world and walk a different path. And that about does it for this edition of It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine. Many thanks to all the slaves who made my journey in the land of tacos a reality. El Cuchillo Turco, La Pirámide, Guerrero, Auditorio Che Guevara, La Jícara, La Casota, Cesol, El Paliacate, Ramor, Otros Mundos, Villa Campesina, Melissa, Carlin, Glassbeak Collective, Democracy Now!, Mobile Broadcast News, Rocío y El Bus Lee. Delicados. To comment on this show, or for links to the poop shoot, just visit my fucking website, stimulator.tv. Long live Boost Lee.